Hi everyone, my name is May Respicio and this is my next book that comes out. It's called Any Day With You and I'm going to read a few pages for you. And after that, I will share a writing exercise that you can do as well. So let's launch right in. Chapter one, Any Day With You. You know what? I'm gonna put on my glasses first. Hold on, because that'll be good and then I can actually see. Okay, Any Day With You, chapter one. I know the ocean first by smell, then by sight. It's how my family always does it. Sunlight floods our car as we wind up the Pacific Coast Highway. Once we near the beach, dad rolls down the windows and says, everyone breathe it all in. My big sister, Lainey, snorts loudly the way she does whenever dad says that, and we crack up. I close my eyes and inhale softly. It smells like morning and seaweed. That's when I spot it, miles and miles of glittering water. We pull into a small parking lot. Mom, Dad, and Lainey unload our gear while I help my little brother, Toby, out of his car seat. Then a short walk down a rickety wooden staircase. As soon as we touch bottom, I kick off my flip-flops and we pad along the, so the sand soft and warm under my feet. We plonk down our things. Ah, perfect. Mom says, shaking out a blanket that floats in midair. Toby grabs a shovel and starts digging. Lainey and Dad yank surfboards out of their long cozies. And I do what I always do, trace a heart and plant myself in the center of it. Around us, the beach is already packed with colorful umbrellas, kids building castles and surfers bobbing in the distance. Waves lap in gently. Among all these people, I'm a dot and nothing more. I imagine a movie camera looking down on me, then zooming out, 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 as wide and far as it can go until it reaches a million miles away and I dissolve into a small blue marble, the Earth. I'm not sure why it's called Earth instead of ocean, since most of our planet is covered by water. I learned that from Tatang, my 90-year-old great-grandfather. He feeds facts to me like candy. Datang taught middle school and knows everything. In his younger days, Datang used to swim and free dive in the Philippines where he grew up. He'd come across animals like the psychedelic frogfish or the blue ringed octopus. So wondrous they seem more like mythical creatures from the Filipino folk tales he loves to tell. I've looked them up to try to sketch them, but I'm sure it's not the same thing as seeing them up close. Okay, so that's a little snippet of Any Day With You, and let me share a writing exercise. Uh, so in this book, the protagonist, or my main character, her name is Kaya. Kaya is 12, and she and her friends decide to make a movie that's all about this Filipino sea creature, and they enter their movie into a film contest. Um, and most of their movie, they shoot it at the beach, right by the ocean. So here's your writing exercise. Imagine that you and your best friends are going to the beach. You've been spending weeks planning and you are so excited and then you get there, but everything goes wrong or goes the way that you don't expect it to. And that actually happens a few times in this book where Kaya and her friends, they go to the beach and then nothing happens the way that they want it to. So um, write that scene, take a, a paragraph or two and put in all the five senses and see what happens. Uh, that's all for now. Thank you, everybody. I hope to be back here sharing a few more writing exercises and maybe even reading a bit more to you. Thanks. Bye.